Hey guys, I love the start of a new year. Figuring out what movies I'm looking forward to and 2018 is a stellar year. I've got about 10 or so I'm going to rattle through and there are just some peaches coming up. Now my first one is already out and that's three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Now this is from one of my favourite directors, Martin McDonough, and he did The Guard which is an absolute crack up and this looks just as funny. It's got Francis McDormand, Sam Rockwell, Woody Harrelson, and Francis and Sam guarantee will be Oscar nominated and Francis will walk away with it. My number two pick is Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water. Now I've already seen this and I can guarantee you it already is in my top 10 at the end of the year. It is so good. Now del Toro is going to be part of this whole universal dark universe thing that was a real hot mess to do his own Creature of the Black Lagoon. But he's gone away and done his own sort of creature movie here with the with um the great Sally Hawkins as his janitor or cleaner at a um, US secret military base and she falls in love with said creature and it is just sexy, kind of horror, kind of just this awesome period piece that is a bit emotional too. Also got Michael Shannon who is just amazing at anything. My number three pick is Lady Bird. Now this has come out of nowhere from um, actress turned director Greta Gerwig. It had 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, like it's only just dropped down to 99, comes highly recommended. It stars, yeah, it stars shoot, it stars like it's an unpronounceable fucking name. <clears throat> an unpronounceable name, Saoirse. <clears throat> it stars Saoirse Ronan in, in this quirky coming of age tale set in the early 2000s. And, oh, just looks adorable. My number four pick is First Man. Now this is from Damien Chazelle, the man behind the absolutely brilliant La La Land. And he's back with a period piece about Neil Armstrong. It's got a really interesting screenwriting pairing of the guy who wrote Guardians of the Galaxy, I guess because it's set in space, and the guy who wrote Spotlight, and the post, the upcoming Spielberg movie with Streep and Tom Hanks. So anyway, great pedigree, looks awesome. Now my number five pick is a grab bag all the great British movies coming here this year, including The Death of Stalin from the man uh, behind In the Loop and The Thick of It, Amado Iannucci. It just looks like a great, great set of eye, great reviews, and I love, I love his stuff. There's also Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool, a great little two-hander, true story with um, Jamie Bell, and romancing up old uh, Ned Benning. That looks really lovely and it'll be a big hit in the Lido and I'll probably take my mum to it. And third one is Joe Wright's Darkest Hour. The great, I've seen it, it's a great movie about Churchill um, and it's got Gary Oldman in the performance of a lifetime and that guy should be holding the little golden man come Oscar time. Coming at number six is Isle of Dogs. God damn it was Anderson. You just get me every time with a little stop motion animation carry on like Fantastic Mr. Fox. This looks just brilliant. Set in an island in Japan, full of dogs, funny enough. I don't need to say any more. All you Wes Anderson freaks are going to go see it, like me. Now what I'd like to do at the end of the year is catch up movies I missed in the year previous. And I saw Brawl and Cell Block 99 with Vince Vaughn in the weekend, and that was just something else. This is from director Craig S. Zellier, and he's back this year with Drag Across Concrete. And it's got Mel Gibson and Vince Vaughn, and... I warn you now, it'll be violent, but he just does amazing, amazing movies. Now, my number eight pick is a wrap-up of all the great sci-fi movies coming away this year. And what gets a wowsers in my trousers is Annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Annihilation is a debut film from Alex Garland. This guy is a freaking fantastic writer. He wrote Ex Machina the other year, which was just awesome. And this stars Natalie Portman. There's some crazy aliens behind a force field. They've got to go investigate and look, just watch the trailer. Oh, it looks good. The other great sci-fi flicks coming our way are Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One, based on the book I love, with all the throwbacks to the 80s, 90s, games, toys, whatever. Looks awesome. And A Quiet Place with Emily Blunt, where all the aliens that have invaded us respond to sound, so everyone's got to be silent. So, ooh, love that sort of stuff. And again, I'm cheating, and number nine is all my great comic book movies coming this way. Avengers Infinity War, enough said about that. Black Panther, Ryan Kodgler, uh just can do no wrong on my book, and this just looks like amazing cast, and just going to kick some ass. And uh, what are the other ones? Venom looks awesome. I mean, how the hell they get Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, Woody Harrelson, in a sort of Spider-Man spin-off movie? I don't know. There's got to be something good about it, so I'm there to check it out. And of course, Devil 2, with Julian Dennison in it. I mean, how do you go from Hunt for the Water People to that? I don't know, but 
it's going to be just as funny as the first one, and I can't wait. And my last and final pick is a shout out to what looks like a great little New Zealand movie from two great Kiwi comedians, Madeline Sammy, Jackie Van Beek. It's called The Breaker Upperers, about two ladies who help other people obviously break up, trying to, you know, ignore the things they've got to sort out in their own life. Now that's my top 10 if there's anything you want to go check out, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. We're back soon with another review. Happy New Year, people.